village that we were in in Romania um, it was an Orthodox faith which also means that repenters are looked down upon and so when we went to our village to minister to children the mayor had found out that we were repenters and took away our field and so we had a bunch of pass out papers that we were giving to children on the streets but no place to hold the program and this was the day of the first day of the program and so we didn't know what to do and our pastor had brought us out and we were praying over the road asking God for a field to provide and the first lady we came in contact with invited us to use her field and so as we went back to the church getting ready for this program one of our teammates had asked if we could pray for 300 kids to show up and I thought that was kind of crazy because we had only passed out papers to about 50 as well as we had a tiny field but we believed that God could do big things through this village that had never been reached before and so we started to pray that day and pray specifically that the Lord would provide over 300 kids to come to the program that day and sure enough when we got to the small field that we had we had kids running in waves to the house so excited to get to hear the gospel and that day over 300 children got to hear the gospel and power of Jesus Christ. I learned this summer that specific prayer works and God provides and so for people that are watching this I would just ask for that you would be specific in your prayers and your requests to God because he does fulfill them and he does hear our prayers. Um, pray specifically for the people of Arach and of Bod in Romania and that they heart, their hearts are open to receive the gospel. My name is Alexis Rakita and I'm from Friendswood, Texas and I served in Romania this summer. What did I see God do this summer? I saw the power of prayer and God's faithfulness in every situation regardless of the circumstances that we are facing. What was the biggest challenge that I had to overcome this summer? I would say it was the persecution that we found in our village and how the people were not very open to receive the gospel due to the fact that we were repenters. What advice would I give to someone signing up for Nehemiah team? I would say to pray specifically for the people, groups that you will be coming in contact with as well as an effective way to share the gospel. Would I do Nehemiah teams again? Yes. <laughs> because I got to see um, people from all different nations come to know the Lord and I got to be a vessel to tell other people about the good news.